Hey, Kimmy, baby, I had a book over here in this drawer. You seen it? You mean a little black book? Oh, honey, I cleaned out those drawers in that whole room and made a big donation to Goodwill. But don't worry, we can get you another one. Oh, hell no. You never gonna believe what happened to me today at the Goodwill. I found a book of seed phrases, honey. I can get those hair transplants now. Oh.
to get the cake. Okay, this ain't what you used to. Always with the new. This ain't what you used to. I do me, do you. I do me, do you. This ain't what you used to. 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 This ain't what you. No, this ain't what you used to. Switching from the bikes to a new coupe. You know I keep some new shoes. Keep it simple, not like you. All night, get right. Know you know the price. Know you know the name, no games. I need all my money now. Not playing, man. Ain't this ain't what you used to. I might fly to LA. This cold weather ain't for me. Hit the bank, round your way. What you used to? And I'm grinding to the top. I can't let it slip away, so I gotta get the pay. Okay, this ain't what you used to. Always with the new. This ain't what you used to. I do me, do you? I do me, do you? This ain't what you used to. 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 This ain't what you. Calls keep coming in for the win, get it in. This ain't what you used to. So you get on my nerves, try in my line, get curved. This ain't what you used to. Round round swerves, everybody here knows the word. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama. And trying to be tough all the damn time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. 
Looking at me so cold Get over yourself, are you for real? Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies mm-hmm. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch
Did I do it again? We can't hear you. Oh man, but we did a mic check. Man, I just gave you all the alpha in the world. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I did that again. Okay. Well, what I said was kind of important. We still got seven, nine, nine people here. Didn't lose everybody. Man, I hate it when I do that. I, I'm giving a little warning. Um, this week, now I can summarize it in Lost Pastor though. Looking at Bitcoin, see the prices come up to about 67.4. I'm looking for a strong possibility of price getting rejected there. And then probably coming back to areas that we saw before, just to kind of confirm. Might see kind of a double bottom retest there. But that's what I'm saying. We're starting out. It looks like we might have a strong start in the week. Maybe Monday, Tuesday might be nice. Pushing us up. And we're going to see that with our altcoins too. That's why we were looking at total three over here. Same scenario uh, with um, total three here. So your altcoin mags may be looking nice. And what I'm just trying to drive home is that as we get to these areas and test this breakout point, you might want to have a plan to peel off profit, make sure you're paying yourself because it's likely that they're going to get really choppy, have another nice pullback with all coins as Bitcoin kind of figures out what it's going to do. Um, there are some signs there to, to watch. And then we were talking about the weekly, especially on Bitcoin here, what to watch, watch out for. And I just see a, just a minor correction. I'm still ultimately looking for this channel that we held to hold and get a bounce off of here, but it's going to be choppy for about the next week and a half is what I'm kind of seeing. After that, Ichimoku Cloud's ready to rip us up. So the upside. But when we look at our, our MACD, that's that's the that's the warning sign that I'm trying to drive home here on the weekly on Bitcoin. When this starts happening, we you, from trust me, you want to pay attention. This is how you miss tops and reversals and things like that when you're not paying attention to MACD. Now she could come down and duck lift like she did over here. That would be awesome. I'm all for that. This thing would just kind of level out and start going up like that. Beautiful. But if we get a cross here of those, and then we, this thing starts coming down to the downside, and then that's horrible. I'm personally, I don't think she's going to just because the two week and the, the monthly, especially the monthly are, are really kind of strong. So, but duck lips may come in line, but as we can see now we've got, okay, the weekly starting to turn down here on the Magni. Five days already crossed. So now we know we got an official cross here on the five day. You know, this thing's going to take about a week and a half or two weeks to turn around, even if we go bullish right, right now. So. We, we got some down and sideways to come in for Bitcoin. And it, it may be kind of bullish for a day or two. So we kind of figure out what's going on. Maybe the three day. Three day wants to try to level out. The five days is already kind of crossing. Daily's trying to flip a little bullish. So we need to take care, take advantage of the bullishness that we see before, you know. We do see that possible rejection and maybe down and sideways is know what I'm foreseeing. I do think this will be a confirmed bounce to the upside. We don't want to break back into the pattern, but you know, it's not going to be just bounce and ricochet like a bullet and just shoot off to the upside. It could if it wants, but we got the nine moving up average up here, some points of resistance that we just got to monitor and keep our eyes on. And you know, there's going to be that opportunity for market makers just to drive down all coins and flush out a lot of longs and shorts and have their fun with it. So just be ready for it. So that's just a, a general recap of what I got. Guys, thanks for being patient with me. Only music. Okay, we, we got it. Now we can. Okay. Check. Haven says, if it's bullets, we're only 36 hours home sleep. Haven's <laughs> out there killing it, killing it. 
So I was trying to give a proper shout out when I discovered that my microphone was off. So a uh, shout out to Haven being here, doing well on uh, killing it on the Solana Mean Coins. Brackets Adventures. So we got Strega. Thank you for the super chat. I gotta remember, I can heart these little things. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was the wrong button. All right, well, let's take a look at the altcoins. Nice day of green. Arc, yeah, we'll take a look at that one. This was one that I like that I've been playing. Got a nice little bounce over here. Looks like we broke beneath the trend line. Broke back into it, depending on how well that I drew that. That's fairly decent on uh, this time frame. Kind of drawing a trend line here just to see where we might bounce from. And uh, seems to work, doesn't it? That's just a little little something that I, that I see that I do different than other people. Um, Nothing special. It's just that you just remember where you came from. That line, that line doesn't stop. It keeps going, and it will have an impact somewhat. You will see something there most of the time, unless it just blasts through. But always, I'm just a big, big believer in the neo trend lines. So nice to see we're getting a bounce off of that. Now, if we're getting a bounce off of that, then well, especially if you consider maybe being a, a bull trap, it looks like it's going to lead to a strong bounce. Wherever could it go? Well, I don't have very much to go on, but I would say that we, you know, looking at this last high and this high, and I got two dots to connect right there, kind of suggests that we might have the possibility of coming back up here to four dollars for Arc M. I hope so, baby. She got all the way down to a dollar twenty-three. Was was a yummy, yummy place to pick this little guy up. Let's pull the fib after the fact because it's already bounced off through the 786 retracement area there. So, a good area for a bounce. Since we got that little bit of information, we can work a little fib magic out here and also get another target right up here at 437. Me likes it. And if she gets a little antsy, we've also got 477 coming in on our radar there. So, Rather than just putting this up here at, uh, well, it looks like it could go right up here to the trend. We can be a little bit more finessey. And I don't know, maybe we could even add a time frame to that. Let's, let's play. Let's see if there's kind of confluence with time. I don't know. When does that come in? Wednesday, May 15th. Road Dog said it's going to be up there. You suck, Road Dog. We're back at $2. That'd be 115 115% gains from right where price is. There might be a possibility of a retest back down here at these levels on the daily time frame. Oh, look first, then leap. That's always good advice. I don't know why you popped up on my screen, but uh, hey, thanks for looking out. Draw a little trend line from candle bodies right here. Ooh, that's nice. I don't see the volume behind it right at this present time, but I'd like to see when we get a breakout. Let's see the breakout over here, see how the volume kind of came in. Lots of people. Lots of orders coming in to push price up. I'm not seeing lots of orders pushing price up at the moment. I'm just seeing maybe maybe sellers are backing off and, you know, it's moving up without authentic sell pressure. Maybe. Because I like the 200 moving out. I like the moving average just the way they are. It looks like we're coming up here about 244. Kind of bump around on the 50 moving average. Also got some support resistance areas right up there for confluence. Why, I bet, I bet you can even fib that one out. Oh, no. That doesn't fib out. Oh, well, I'm not changing. I'm leaving her here with 50, but a lot of times you can even get that extra little boost of confluence. But I would look at this for being an area for a little bit of headache for RKM at 246 after that, baby. I think we're ready to head to the upside. RKM! Livewire's been doing pretty good. Now, I'm not in this one, but we have covered it here on the channel, so I want to take a look at it again. 
Ah, uh, looks like we got a mixy chart. Oh, nice balance. Came down to 81, 82 cents. She was up at a dollar 82, so lost a whole dollar, and now we're back in 131. So, wow, man, what if you got it around here somewhere? It'd be up about 50 percent. That's not bad. What does she do? Well, we extend this little line out, just keeping it above our our lines there. She broke out, came back, retested. This was, ooh, yeah, yeah. It's just a little surprise in there. Bounced off of again and then finally stuck after this one little week down there. Interesting. Basically what we're doing is that uh, we're, we're in our first stages of moving parabolic here with a nice little opening broadening pattern, which is just easier to call a bullish or bearish megaphone, really. It goes up. It's bullish when you're playing it, but when they break the trend line, ooh, they're bearish. They didn't normally play to the downside. Where you headed, baby? Energy, energy, energy to the energy, energy, energy. Good old lime wire. Two, two bars, flows too fast. Two, two constellation and stars. Two, two lost. Two, two hearts. Nice. Kind of looking for this 210 area. That's the one that I'm seeing with that has a, a really a good chance of, of getting rejected in there. So LimeWire might be headed from where it is right now on the daily chart for another 60% gains there. Let's take a look at the four hour. Four hour looks nice. Recently you had the death cross of the 50 over the 200, but now it looks like the 50 is being influenced where it might be getting the, the golden cross here, I don't know, over the next day or so. Looks like price is starting to pull that moving average up and that would be bullish. So a little bit of a pullback back to these areas might be in line. Retest this 200 moving average. 113 would be a good place to get in. If you're wanting to try to play this little guy. Oh no, where did he go? There's a short. What? In the wire. In the line. Nice little Adam and Eve bottom shape. Maybe bouncing off this trend line. Might be able to play that. That's got a measure moving itself right there. If we can just confirm the neckline there. That little target would take you up to 169 for anyone playing the short term. That'd be a nice little confirm the breakout. Kind of play here. You don't want to confirm that because remember, a lot of times these little guys like to do this little thing, and sometimes like I come down and make a little nice little another whatever this is. So that would be the how I would try to play it is jump in on a retest. And it should get one with this pattern. If it goes, breaks above it, should be coming back and retest that area. That would, uh, do we figure out the games? What, 24%? Maybe. <laughs> so a lot of means rock. Here's one that I'm presently surprised to find that went up because I was looking at it sideways. Can't find it anywhere. What the f is that? Doge Killer Leash. Oh, you're over in CoinX, right? Ooh, okay, she dropped down, man. She dropped down bad. Actually, I've seen prices cheaper than that on Crypto.com, I thought. She's got a little bounce here, testing the 200 moving average for a Leash. Actually, it said $500 over on Crypto.com, although, you know, sometimes um, there's a little discrepancy. You see that with Coinbase too, a little discrepancy. I like Crypto.com there. I use them a lot. 633? Yeah, I hope you do it, baby. I, uh, whew. 
I think you're likely to have a retest before you do it. I, I think that's that's probably more likely with leash, but nice. This could be a bump and run pattern too. This little section here. So very good chance that this breaks to the upside. 68 is actually correct on this one. For a good old leash. Oh, and we got confidence at the 50. Oh, that is so sweet. Yes. Great target. What is it, 631? I gotta put that in the moonbag you there, baby. So, Leech, I'm kind of liking what it's a doing. Got a little breakout with some volume there. Probably get a pullback. We can probably still get in on this one before she does take off to burn the $630 area there. Looks like Floki's doing pretty good now. So, we're, our memes are starting to come back into season today. I think people are more, feel more safe with some of these meme coins than they do some of the actual projects out there. Of course, you know, there's an argument to be made there. Some of those projects should actually be meme coins. Not liking my angles. Let's take some of the noise out on the daily. Go to some candle bodies there. That's a little better. Oh, okay, candle bottom and a candle bottom. That is, uh, that's close enough for here. Kind of see a little confidence with this, the angle of, uh, these candle bodies, even though we didn't actually touch it. Because I don't want to cut through a wick by my rules. So could this be a big old flag? It's just a channel, man. I mean, I guess you could call it a flag. It's kind of hopium to call this a flag. Flags are usually don't play out that long. Flags are kind of short and sweet, and boom, we're ready to go up. This is just a channel. So if you try to play this one like a bull flag, I mean, it might work over time. Come into play, but... Uh, I would be pulling the O-Fibbers, and uh, we, we got a 618. I'd put you at the 618, but that's your three A, your little target over here, which is not showing up correctly. What happened? Did I screw something up? So Papa. Yeah, there we go. It should always come out to my 382 fib, always. If it doesn't, then I'm not taking my measure move right or not pulling my fib right. So if it looks weird like I'm doing two, th well, I am doing two things and giving the same thing, and I know that it does, but it's just kind of like a. You ever had a, you know. If you've ever done carpentry or you've ever, I don't know, you, you know, you, you have to square things up, you know, and, and make sure this measure and that measure kind of equal, and then you know you're square, and that's kind of, if I, if I square it up and I make sure I get this, I don't know, might be it is redundant. There's also a measure move for this channel that uh, can get us right. Back to this target at point zero 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 two nine eight area. I've been at the crib, probably wonder how I got your key. They act like they know. Guess I gotta hit them with the update. I've been getting to it when I'm up late. Hit it when you want the front game. They act like they know. Guess I gotta hit them with the update. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Kill a floor and hit them with the one take. She was looking very, very similar. Oh, I think we're about to get some memes to pop. Haven, you ready for it? Because if these main memes are popping, we know that those other ones are going to pop too. Oh, we already got it. Boom. 
Shiva still looking for these uh, juicy ears, and there might be. Looks like we're starting to get a breakout. Don't see the volume on it yet. She probably, she probably will get a, a pullback retest in that, just looking at the moving averages, because they're just not... They've not got... They're not as bullish as they can be just yet. 21 moving averages coming in right here at the breakout point. Nine is still way down here. So that's usually a, a good sign that we might come up here to this area. Point zero 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 three one five area retest. Probably get a good retest. A decent retest back to the same areas right now before moving up there. So that got that possibility for Shiba. We're going to set this up. Let's see. I'm on the daily. Put a stop loss under that candle, that daily candle open right there. And that would be a 10%. That's not bad at all. But of course, that's not where we are in price right now. At price right now, that'd be about 13%. But uh, get a nice little trade about 10 to 1 risk reward ratio with a buy somewhere about. 2883. We're at 2774 at the moment for Shiba. Let's take that and look at the smaller time frames and see if there's a possibility what they're telling us. Four hours saying, yeah, there's going to be some rejection here. You can probably actually get a better entry. Stop loss would probably need to go. Ooh, that's steep. So in situations like this, if I were trying to do this on spot, maybe with low leverage, I'm not, you know, and entering and putting a stop down here i'm actually layering in that's what i do so i layer in and about where people would get stopped out is where i've got my biggest order so if they do come and do a stop run well you just pack my bags for me and went all the way and if you decide to say well we're going to come down here and bottom out and maybe even go lower well i've lowered my entry so i can still put a stop loss a lot lower here so this is how I kind of do my stuff a little bit different from uh, some of those professional gurus that just kind of I don't know just wing it so I like this for Shiba and uh, let me copy this link I need to put some I need to post some things over on the free group. Well, it's all free. I have no pay group. I just got a, a, a maze over here under the chart room. Trade setups is where I'm trying to go there. If you don't use folders in Telegram, well, you're, you're probably pulling your hair out like I used to. Start using folders going through the setting and then you can put whatever chats that you want and your little personal folders. <laughs> Stay over here to the side and uh, makes this app a lot better. Just so much easier. Otherwise, you're just getting everything blasting you. And I can just, I'm, I only see what I want to see now. I can see, oh, somebody go to the, to the community, to the, to the group and post something. Now I can, I can see that without having to dig through. So I've got no instructions here because I'm flying blind. I'd, I'd like to type out what to look for, but you know, we kind of talked about it on stream. And but if I sit here and type it all out, you guys are going to get bored and flip off the channel. And I don't want, I don't like it when you guys flip me off. Everybody's always flipping me off, man. LPT's up live here. Check it out over here on Binance. I don't know. She got hit hard and now she's making a little bit of a comeback. We're on what the four hour most, most likely she'll get rejected right here where she's at and then come back for a pullback. So that's kind of cool. So if you want to get in this and you haven't got into this one, you can definitely look at some areas that you could probably catch her at here at 1243. Actually, yeah, I think she, oh man. 
I don't want to get too ballsy. We're on the four hour. No, I'm actually going to ride that. Our 21 moving averages down there. Our nine is right over here. I would start looking at 1380 on this one with the possibility to come down to maybe around 1250. 1368. Coming back to retest this area and then may even, well, if we fall back in this pattern, we'll come back to the bottom and test it. Good chance to get rejected over here, come back, work out a few areas before we actually start moving and get a, a true reversal out of this one. But I think that looks good. It looks like she's bottomed out from this other pattern. And uh, might be one to start looking at, or maybe DCA and into. This one's got some good possibilities. If this is what you're into. From the bigger picture of things, we've got a nice little pull back to the 786 area for a bouncy, bouncy. Good fib areas to nail it. Look for a reversal somewhere around 29, 59, 32, 42. Those should be the toppy top areas where price, however, it decides to mangle itself up here. Whenever it does, it goes backwards and sideways. Um, whenever it does get up here at one of these areas, it could be getting, you know, a bigger pullback before figuring out where else it's going to go. Could be sending something like that from LPT. Takes us over to Render. Looking at this over on Binance. Looks like we got seven, eight, six retracements everywhere. This one may not be as steep depending on where we're pulling from down here. She didn't quite make it down there. And I think that was why I was looking for the possibility of doing it. She's not having any of it. She's taking a confirmed bounce here off the 618. So she... It's doubtful that she even comes back there. She may come back to 870. So coming back to the bottom, this trend line is not happening. Not anytime soon. Looks like we've got a, well, she respected this trend line that we're on. So we got a, well, this is back in play. We can throw him back up. And that means that this one's back in play. So I would be looking for lemon. 40 in this area possibly to be coming out of render testing the top of this channel and maybe more maybe we've already broke through it one time right technically i just don't have a solid that's about as solid as i've got with these two touches right there so that gives us some other areas that we can start looking at over here keep our eyes on that for render but right now She's wanting to head up and try to regain this 200 moving average. Needs to. Probably won't get it the first time. Probably have to get another pullback. So it's a good time right now. It looks like, as it looks like, we've we got lots of bottoming patterns out of these altcoins right now. So confirmations or something, maybe some a little more pullbacks on some of them. Meaning, basically, if you want to add some of these to your bag for a nice little for a nice little move up to capitalize on, there should be some good moves on a lot of altcoins right now. So it's a good trading season. Remember, we, we've got a little a little boost up before we got to start looking for a, maybe another pullback, and then we can kind of gauge to see how severe that pullback will be. I don't think it'll be too severe. I think it'll just chop, but it is what I'm seeing possibly coming this week. Maybe a nice, a stronger start at the beginning of the week that kind of fizzles out. <coughs> Get everybody's hope up. Oh, we're going to the moon and then, you know, dump us down again. At least back to where we were before. So I highly recommend taking profit. And uh, definitely if you're doing perpetuals or, or any kind of margin. Uh-uh. Oh god, he's drinking the Kool-Aid! Hey, we got Bored Nerd! Bonk. 
I heard Mock was moving. I'm going to just start checking my Solano account over here. Nice. Okay, so it's making a, a recovery for those areas. It, too, looks like it's trying to break out. Oh, man, all these meme ones. They're, they're all running into their 200 moving average, and it's a good thing, but the reason that I keep saying that they're all probably going to get rejected here is because, well, the 100 is up below it, the 50 is below it, nothing, to, no moving averages are anywhere close to crossing it yet, so that means price is going to come back and uh, probably retest some of these moving averages. The 9 would be the first one I would look at because, well, I don't know. It was stair step down through the 100 here, probably lose that one, and then maybe coming back down to where the 1573 area we're at 2066 it could happen it's, it's likely to happen i'm sorry to say but then we will find a pullback area any of these could be it i normally i look at a 382 which is right on top of that trend line a bounce from there would be really strong um, but they don't normally always hold. They usually a lot of times pull back to the 50. So starting to look there at 1745 in that area if we get a you know if this price can't hold. We come to smaller time frames to kind of see what it's doing. Let me get my stuff out. See if they look as bearish on the smaller time frames. So we got our moving averages crosses and crossing way down here. That's nice. It's nice to see a candle open above that trend line. Now, that's hopeful. That does give us an idea that maybe the pullback would just be there, but I, I can't go ahead and throw that out there just at this moment. A lot of weight down here that price can come back and visit, so just keep that in mind. It would be great, though, if you do see something like this come back down here and then bounce and make a higher high. Then I got nothing. I can't say nothing bad about that. That's what you want to see exactly. It's just that probability since all this stuff is down here that maybe you get something like this before we get that. Let's keep an eye on Bonk and all of them. Maybe it's always good to take profits when you can or at least pay yourself a little bit, you know. There's something. Come on, Peppy. Come on, Peppy. I need you. I need you because I'm down $1.2 million in the Peppy. A fat fingered Peppy on my paper trading account. Come on, Peppy. So, ye oh, ascending triangle ish pattern or descending triangle pattern often turns into a falling wedge. I normally don't even play these guys because I just don't trust them. I don't trust these or symmetrical triangles either for this reason. But nice, looks like uh, we, if we do get a breakout this time, then we can start seeing these other areas. Pepe going to 1227? Could happen. 904 needs to get out of the way first. You got a 618 retracement there? Well, let me throw out a little bonus one. 1468. Oh, if you do that, Peppy, I'll be happy with you. Let's go back to 1468. Have you ever been there, Peppy? Good old Peppy. This actually looks like it will it should be a nice move after we get through all the headaches and get our bounces in here. This is on the daily, so this one may take about another week. Of course, with what we're seeing, I'm just wondering, you know, if I might come up here and then come down for another. Something like that. Keeping our eyes on this. Right now, your your actual your first place to see if it's time to get out or not would be the top of the trend line, so probably should mention that. Somewhere around 672, and then, you know, it's a good place to get rejected. Just saying. Kyle Tomala, hey, welcome to the stream. Squid Grow Satoshi, the owner. 
just offered Andrew Tate a Lamborghini to hop on the train. This after sponsoring Crypto 49 in Dubai. Hmm. Salanda says, can you take a look at Seller? Sure can. Hard to resist that smile. Let's go. Um, let's see. Where do we want to look at it? Finance is... Well, they should have a decent chart. It's perpetuals, though. Take a look at the one on Coinbase. Looks like we got enough to work with here. Or maybe we don't. Do we? It's 22. Kraken's got it. Okay, Bonnets. Well, we're here on crack. Binance had more, though. That's futures. But I'm just trying to chart with the most information, and I think Binance is going to have it. Oh, yes. There we go. That's the chart. All right, so Seller, she got rejected off of her accumulation zone there, right? For a little bit of a pullback. I think it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Because we got this uh, support resistance area right here. We candle, we went, a candle body went up it, but uh, out of it, but there are a lot of candle tops right there at that area and a wick to it right there. That seems to be the area that we're test testing. Was that two and a half cent area? This is not one of them on the weekly chart. Oh, uh, the weekly kind of spells it out. The 200 moving average is... No, yeah, we couldn't hold that just yet. So that's a pretty strong one to get rejected from. And you see the 9 moving average is starting to curve. So temporarily kind of bearish. Ichimoku Cloud says don't, don't go too bearish. She just got to find a stopping point before she turns around and reverses. And this may have been it, or it may come back down and retest these areas. Seeing... I think there's a good chance to at least come back to 2.3 cent area. Let's take a look at our indicators here. They're wanting to chill out for a little bit, especially uh, MACD looks like he's starting to want to for a little bit. Why do you keep giving me this? And then on that one we just came from the weekly. Why do you keep giving me this? What's going on here? Every time I click this, I get... See what others don't... I, I don't give a crap. If I'm... Leave me alone. Okay, we finally got to change our days without the pop-up. Okay. So the daily's looking all right. Daily is reclaimed above the 200 so far. That's cool. Let me just kind of scan through... For God's sake. Who had that chart? All right. So this was a lower accumulation. This was a bigger, you know, from a bigger Fibonacci pull, and and that's where it's finding a little resistance. It should should be okay. It looks like we're we're finding support off of this one right here. That's the one I'd be concerned about. So I like that. Four hours. It's bearish, being under the 200. So, looks like there's going to be a little chop until it kind of confirms. That's a nice bombing pattern there. Actually, where price is now, it should just be retesting this area. So, price might come down like, and, and we don't want to lose that area, but it should bounce off of that. And it's in the middle of a red cloud here in the four hours. So I'm liking that. It's above the nine. So that's good. That's the first steps of reclaiming. 
And after it regains the nine, then it's got to work on regaining the, the 200. So this will be the sticky area up through here. This would be a good area to look for putting an order in or, you know, making sure it doesn't break past that. So a little bit of chop and, uh, man. Let's zoom out and see how she might do. I, I would see no reason to get out of this if this is a long-term hold because this is, you know, you're, you're wanting it in these areas of accumulation. So, I mean, she may even pull back to two cents again. I mean, it could happen, and if it did, it wouldn't be horrible. But on its way before it comes up to five cents or six cents, you know, we might have to experience a little bit of that. But I'd still be looking at five and a half cents for a target. Hey, there's Mr. Miles. How's it going, man? Glad to have you here. I've been looking for Chester's videos. I haven't seen him put any lives out or anything lately. May, I don't know if it's... It may just be me and not, not showing up on my... YouTube thing. What we call that? Video roll or whatever it is. But I hope he's doing okay. How you doing, Mr. Mouse? ICP is on a moon mission. Oh, I hope so. Come on, ICP. What are you doing? Well, I'm not calling it a moon mission yet, but she's that's a good start. It's a good start to bounce off of this area. So she made a slightly higher low there. That's great. Like that. Just a little higher. That's all we needed. And now if she can break back above this trend line, that's great. If she can get above that, then I would definitely look, be looking at touching the top of this trend line. So back to about $20. I like that. Might you do it? Might you do it? She can hold that trend line. That would be a good sign. What do you look like on the four hour? Ooh, you got some work cut out for you. That's for sure, though. Mm. Market Cypher's giving you the go with money flow and a little green dot with the cherry on top. Just need to see it hold this area, man. $15, $15.50. Open a candle there. We've got, oh, we just got 20 minutes here on this candle. That's good. So that means that we're going to open a candle here. That's bullish. That's good. So, how can we look at this? Um, I want to take these wicks in consideration too. We were following this this main thing, right? And it's held up really good, but let's see how we form over here because it looks like, yeah, that dotted line was really more of what we had. And this is more like the center line of it. So slide that little guy up and that gives us a nice little area to also look not to break back into, right? Or is that what we were looking at? Probably what we were looking at before there. That one to break back below that trend line. Um, let's flip this one on then. So if I can't make it up there, then might come back to the $13 area and retest that. Let's see, we got an angle there. And this kind of corresponds with 1355. That's probably the area. What is that, May 1st? Oh, I want to see something like that. Let's hope for that. Looks like it might be shaping up to do that. Press some of these hearts. All these little guys. All right, make sure I didn't miss anything there. Pig cat, you say. Pig cat, you say. I haven't heard.
heard of Pig Cat. They should get Crab Cat. But I think there is a Crab Cat. Take a look at Stax. She had a nice little discount. I think it's still a nice little good discount considering that, you know, we're going to be going back up close to $4 eventually. Doesn't have to be right now. 200 moving average is going to be a big thing for all these projects to get over on the four hour. And we're technically not bullish on that time frame until we are. And we need to be bullish on that time frame. Of all the time frames to be bullish on, we need to, we want to see it. Start getting bullish on the one hour, and then we kind of want to see things get bullish on the four hour. And, but if we're already bullish on the daily, it's a good sign that they will probably want to see that. Yeah, likely to happen. Likely, likely to happen. Here on Stacks, checking out this megaphone pattern, we bounced off the bottom of it, reclaimed a 100 moving average, and now we're working up toward our 50 moving average, about $3. From there, I'm expecting 410, maybe up to 508 on this little guy. Seriously, I'm looking to 508. That could be. That, that might come sooner than not. Stacks, it's one of the things that will move with Bitcoin. So why other altcoins may fall back with Bitcoin gaining the spotlight, at least Stacks is one that is uh, moving with it. Not losing against Bitcoin. We looked at render. I guess we can take a look at our wave here. Nice bounce. Nice bounce. Hoping for this $39 area to get retested. That would fit into my strategy pretty nice. She came all the way back to about $22, really. Now you're at $32. Nicey, nicey. There's one. That is what a double top looks like right here. You said the double top because I know you, you hear about them all the time, right? Currently, we're retesting this neckline of this double top. Looks like we're getting above it. Need to hold that. MACD says we can probably do it. MACD on the daily is flipping, crossing bullish, so we want to pay attention to that. Just remember what it's doing on total three. Just keep that in the back of your mind. So she probably won't make it much higher than $39 if she gets up that high. She may not get past 34 or much past 34. Just throwing that out there. I would be watching this trend line here for areas of resistance. Coming down to a smaller time frame, like the four hour, we can see that a four hour, 200 moving average where we're finding our resistance right now. Now, whether we get above it and stay above it, I, I don't know, I, that would be awesome. That's what we want, but uh, no guarantees. It may get rejected there, pull back and then come back above. And again, these areas about 2870, 2880. Good areas to look for a possible bounce and retest. Mr. Miles says it's normal for Chester, not worried. <laughs> Mr. Miles says, fear the crab cat. Yes. Fear the crab cat. Well, ladies is another meme. Well, I'm not in this one, but it's been requested a lot. So, And she is up to date. So I thought, hey, we'll take a look at ladies. Same situation, man. 200 moving averages. Um, going to be the real, real thing. These, it's a lot of these coins are going to have to accomplish right now. It looks like we got a breakout. I'm not seeing, we have no volume here because I'm using crypto. I'm using trading views version here. It does not show the volume. But that's a nice falling wedge pattern, or could be. Could even look at it as this way with a bear trap, which I like it that way. It's probably what we got a nice little breakout. Measure move for this, the, you know, the sensible measure move. Basically kind of takes us up just a little short of our high peak there, 41.518 after a decimal and six zeros.
Let's see if that will work out. Let's take a look over here at, um, what? No, that's not you. Let's go over to token metrics here. Just see what's hanging out in the market. What do you say, token metrics? Not flipped green yet on a bullish sentiment on the uh, TM market indicator. That may be coming tomorrow. That would be cool. A little red light, green light playing over here would be kind of fun. Still got some bear sentiment down here. And still definitely in Bitcoin season at the moment. Looks like Tencent Saga. Deso DGen on base blocks and uh, dog with coin. We didn't look at with. They seem to be on the up move today. While Ribbon Finance, OXO, Cat and a Dog's World, really, Ton Coin, Bit Tensor, and AIOZ are a little bit on the downside right now. Might be a good time to look at Ton Coin. No, they're still up. They're kind of high. They just got a little bit of a pullback. Not very much, but strong coins still, nonetheless. Keep on your radar. Taking a look over here at the ratings to see what's popping off. Trader grade, grade coins. Brett, only one gala and non-playable coin are the most trending. The ones that uh, seem to be getting the best scores over here is OFN, Open Fabric. Punk, Punky, we need to take a look at that one. Sakai Vault, White Bitcoin Ontology, Multi-Bit, Green Earth Coin, Bello, Cream, Railgun, Polka Bridge, PBR, Guild of Games, Ondo, Node AI, King of Legends, Florida LimeWire, Jido Governance, and Tuncoin. Well, oh, time to make the donuts. Top investor coins seems to change every now and then a little bit. Right now, the uh, the hot ones that we've got coming in, investor grade wise. Nervous Network, CKB, she's up a little bit at 2.2 cents. Live here, got a nice little bounce up. We looked at that one on the charts. $15 right now. Seller Network, near protocol. Solana, Avalanche, Oasis Network, MakerDAO, one inch flow. Luna Classic. Phantom, IOTEX, REN, Engine Corn, Harmony, Injective, Cartesi, Reserve Rights, and Syscoin are all got the highest investment grades at the current moment. It looks like live here has got a nice little boost up there. And Injective, back up to $29. Come on, Injective, let's hit 50. Can we do it? So, Ponky, let's take a look at the old Ponky Cohen. Baby, baby, baby. Did we look at this today or yesterday? Same thing. If we see a breakout above this trend line, yay. Are you trying to do it? She looks like she's trying to do it. She's going to make a run for it. I don't know if it's going to work. It probably will, but she's getting ready to make a run for it. She's going to try to break out of the pattern. If she does, I've got a target at 28.2 cents, but that's just a stupid target to hang on to if we get a break out of this line. I'm like, let's just take it off. Just get rid of it, screw it. Even though that may be as high as she goes. Uh, that, I mean, if we're going to break out out of here, we gotta start looking around 37 cents with that measure move target. Honk it, our memes are on the run. And good old Whiff. What are you doing, Whiffy? Whip on Binance. Oh, you're still, oh, you're at 308, that's good. We do have a double bottom pattern here, and Adam, a new pattern that's flagging out beneath the trend line. Looks like she might be trying to break up above it. That would be cool, but it's just this trend line here, man. I can't tighten her up anymore. This is gonna be an area she's gotta deal with. Somewhere around 379. I don't know how she's, if she breaks back above that, and gets above this trend line it's, it's we're going crazy but if she gets rejected here we got some down and sideways until we got to figure out what's going on what we could be looking at we kind of put this little trend line on the back burner although i never would because that's a strong trend line 
But if you're just looking at the local pattern that we're in, that's technically bullish. It's got a 70% chance to break to the upside of a bearish megaphone pattern. I know a, you know, a double bottom. Sort of head and sort of play upside, however you want to look at it. It's a partial decline for this bigger pattern that we zoom out to look at. And we can also get, you know, different patterns within patterns, right? But it means nothing until you get actual break out of this trend line. If you do, you got some upsides for a measure move. Depending on where we break out to, could take us right to this area about 521. So measure move gives us that. And that is right in line with my Fibonacci. That's confluence. I'm looking for that. So I'm just going to, I'm calling that. I got two. It hasn't broken out yet. So in all honesty, you're probably going to see rejection here. Coming back down. And, and then maybe my very well got those head and shoulders. Then, but she couldn't reject your 200 moving average. 100 just crossed to the downside of it. 21 and the nine and all them are down here too. So probably rejection it'll you know get some gain some strength and then break out once it breaks out i am looking maybe 520 and if we break out down here i have to put my 786 on the line here but we'll take care of that we'll look at that but <laughs> if there is a breakout then i would be looking at 520. that's just one more than 420. She may have some legs. Hey, there's Joe. How's it going, Joe? Caught your show today, Sha. Joe? Glad to have you here. So, memes are looking nice. What about old Rune? What are you doing, Rune? You get a nice little bounce there. You know, the memes are looking, you know, most of the memes are at their 200 moving average on the four hour. Rune is nowhere close. And I've got, uh, this should be a Fibonacci area, I believe it is, if I zoom out. But we're finding rejection. There, we gotta get past accumulation, man. Rune, baby, you lost this major trend line, and I just, um, oof. I can't see how you're going to get out of this unless you do something really mega freaking bullish, like jump up above this trend line and just go at it. Otherwise, man, I just think you're going to be up. you got a lot of baggage to go through over these next few weeks. You're on the, what am I, on the three day? For real, for real? RSI is coming in at uh, 43, so that's a little of a bearish, anything under 50%, we kind of taint it bearish. Anything above 50%, we kind of color it a little green, a little bullish. Stochastics are down at the bottom, now they're coming up. Money flow is kind of weak, but we're still, we're still there. There might be a, I can't see you doing it though. I can't see you. I can't see you making it all the way, making a total comeback just yet, Rune. I'm going to be watching this trend line that we broke out of, or even that breakout area, somewhere with 589 or 612. Keeping our eye there. Got to get above this 565, and we're finding some rejection there. Rune is not looking as hot, but it looks like she may have started to get a bottom, a local bottom, maybe. Keep her eye on her. Smaller time frames are looking a little bit better, so coming back up to six could definitely be on the radar there, but can't you make it back to seven? I mean, I'm all for it. Don't get me wrong. My bags have been suffering in room. And let's take a look at Sweet. She's uh, at the 100 moving average here on the four hour. Look like she's going to try to test this 200 moving average area by 160. Got some confluence with some. Looks like a 
possible support resistance flip area coming in right there. So 164, 165, that'd be an area to look that we might have to contend with and we can look for a little confluence here. Put the old fifth from swing high to swing low, tell me where price might try to go and we got our 618 coming right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just draw a line there at that old 618. That's coming in 169 right there. Come on, sweetest. Let's do it, but we're bouncing off a channel, and if we bounced off the bottom of a channel, got a little bit of a wick down here. Can we consider that a bear trap? Maybe. We can also consider weakness if we come back to visit this. It may not hold, so we don't want to come back and visit this, this trend line anytime soon. What we want to do is hope that that is a bear trap that may give us enough momentum to actually get us up to the top of the channel. Maybe she'll get a hiccup here and go sideways, you know. She, she, she does that. She goes up and comes down and then eventually goes up there. We might see that. Bollinger bands might spell something like that, but then again, they're kind of weird. You kind of have to zoom out on them. Bollinger bands. I like them okay. They're, I think they're good for momentum. They're not good for nailing entries and the, they can help you. Like when they squeeze together, you know, something's going to happen. And I'm usually looking at the middle line on which side price is over to lean toward that way. That's where we're going to go. But you, you, with both of Japan's, you can't use them to, oh, we're, it's time to reverse, time to reverse. Because she, once she gets above this line or at this line, she can keep on going. But usually what I like to do when I use Bowling Japan's, I just like to see where price is in relation to the bottom line, the middle line. And usually what I see is that price will, you know, will come from the bottom. We'll come up to that middle line and usually retest it. And then if I see that, see that that holds, then, well, then I start looking at wherever the top blue line is. But then when you get to the blue line, you know, you can't really decide what you're going to do because, well, you know, it can keep going or it may bounce or... They're an interesting one. I used to have to use Bollinger Bands when I was programming my bot. And it worked really good for a bot strategy. But still, you know, every little thing has got its own... You see me break them out every once in a while, but uh, not always. I do. I will say this though: if you get like on a bigger time frame and you switch on your Bolter, I use this on my like on my phone a lot on the exchanges. Um, sometimes you know, noticing what we got up here, like right now, the the price one ninety seven for SWE, and then down at the bottom it's got one twelve. Those are usually some pretty good places for targets. To kind of, you know, look at putting some buy orders in, you know, monitoring when it comes down to those prices. I, I found it to be helpful for that. It's really about finding whatever indicators work for you. Ones that um, speak to you and give you the best advice. For me, that boils down to five movement averages. And they work together to form a strategy. Also comes to, uh, you know, I use, I look at volume. It's not my main thing. VMC, because it's a free indicator, a version of a very expensive indicator that you have to rent. Um, and it's a reliable indicator. It's got put five indicators all at once. I took this RSI out because it was just too busy. I like to have my RSI separate because, you know, sometimes I'll plot against this thing. I like to draw trend lines on RSI too sometimes. And then they own MACD. And then in the very background, I got the Ichimoku cloud, just just the basic cloud. And, you know, that just kind of gives me peace of mind as to where I am on the trend. And that's about all that I use other than a few extra moving averages that I call upon every once in a while. Other than that, it's tools like Fibonacci and trend lines and support resistance areas, just the basics. Some people just trade by indicators alone and they do well. Bots do that and that's how I had learned to program some of those with certain indicators. Before they'd actually, you know, had a graphical representation in my head about what was actually playing out. But price action and trend lines tell you quite a bit. In my personal opinion. Guys, give me just a 
can't do that, can I? Let's check our news. There wasn't anything over there. And he has not posted today. Layer GG, don't have any news on 420? For real, for real? He does have this calendar over there that's worth taking a look at, though. And uh, it's a bi weekly calendar for April. Uh, Layer GG over on X, Twitter X, however you want to say it. Uh, good source of from Alpha, and especially the calendars he puts out uh, when. Just when uh, happenings are coming, when there's news, unlocks, and, you know, it's got a list of all the unlocks. and Just good alpha, baby. Just good alpha. Let's take a look at Bitcoin here. See how is she doing right now. Oh, we're at 65,000. Let's look it on to the one I actually trade here. I use Mexi Perpetual Futures. And it looks like I got Mr. Elliot turned on. He's got my chart off. Oh, that's from our class. So what on the two hour? Oh, I got my extra moving averages on. This is interesting. Since I've got them on, we're on the two hour chart. 800 moving average, very major moving average. 100 just crossing the downside on it. But our smaller moving average are crossed bullishly, so that can kind of balance out. Lucy's up here, so she's a little troublemaker. Trust me, you're going to have a headache when you come and talk to Lucy. She's going to... Those of you that don't know, Lucy is a devil girl, and if price comes up to her, she will knock it down in a heartbeat because she's just she's just like that. She's, she's mean. So 66.5 is going to be an area to contend with. I have to see what happens. It might get rejected there. Locally, the pattern. I can't do this. I just I just don't like doing local patterns, man. Rising wedge, but you know I like to zoom out and see what's really. That really doesn't tell me much unless it breaks this trend line, which is a, a weird one. Nice little double bottom shape against this trend line that I'm seeing. Come down now and take, well, we just should go to the four hour. I like to keep up with the four hour. Four hours tells us the same thing that Lucy was telling us on the two hour. So see how these things kind of coincide. 66, 5, 67. Through that area is going to be a hard area to get above. And then we also got a trend line coming in over there. So lots of things in this area to give us some resistance. Just for, you know, probably a pull back and visit some areas. Go sideways, chop up a little bit as we start Sunday and going into Monday. Come down on the smaller time frames just for just because. Actually kind of bullish right here on the 15 minute. One, you got a nice little scallop shape that might be playing into something. Might it be a cup and handle? Now, it might be because for me, a cup and handle price has to rise up into it because it is a continuation pattern. And um, that's just usually what I look for. As you know, lots of other people have different uh, expectations and uh, identities or identification methods. I like to lean a little bit more toward Thomas Bukowski and Eugene William O'Neill. Sorry, but, uh, but even his analysis on it is kind of spotty, to be honest with you. So here we are with the 200 crossing the 800 on a 15 minute time frame, smaller time frame, but that's a big cross. That's a good, that's kind of like an equivalent to a golden cross. And you would see a golden cross on a different time frame, probably if we come down to one minute, maybe? No, not the one minute. You've already done it on the five, the, the three. Oh, well, I see no correspondence. So for all Bitcoin, we do have this trend line that's not even in trouble of being tested. This is what I'd look at, and this is why I choose to go with the candle bodies. Wherever the bottom is, and then run that right up to our next candle body, and then you get a nice little solid trend line. This needs to hold. Looks like it is. If it breaks, then I would be scared. Or concern for coming back down to 64,000. If it holds, then I'm looking for 66, maybe up to 67 and a half ish. Nice rounding. That might be a cup and handle. Even William O'Neill might say that, even though we're on a small ass time frame. He looked on the weekly, but you know. 
We're above Lucy and above the 200 and above the 800 and above the 100 and above the 50 on the small 15 minute time frame. So 15 looks bullish. So we got that going for us. Just watch out at 66, 5, 67. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I will be back again tomorrow night looking at the weekly candle close. And uh, just get a feel for what we need to do during this week. But I am looking for up. I'm seeing that already. Some up and then be cautious because I think we might get another little another little throwback down here. More toward maybe Tuesday, Wednesday from what I'm seeing right now. We have to keep that unmonitored. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you again tomorrow. I will check out Gary tomorrow, I promise. Come on, come here, boy. Good night, John boy. <laughs> you freaky dog. I'll put that on the list for tomorrow. My pleasure, Slender. Also subscribe to Road Dog Crypto. Trade wisely, my friends. <laughs>